If we try to connect eight different AV sources to eight TVs, we might end up like this. Well, that is unless we have an AV matrix switcher. Wait, what are AV switchers and what are AV matrix switchers? What is the difference between them? Let's say you have three AV screens and three AV sources. What are you going to do when you need to change to a different AV source on one or more TVs? Such a need can be easily solved by using a matrix switcher, or simply put, a matrix. A matrix is used to transmit multiple inputs to multiple outputs and lets you control which media source is routed to specific displays. For example, routing between a number of inputs to a number of outputs, like so. If your setup includes just a single screen as an output, but several AV sources, you need a switcher rather than a matrix. So, what do you need to check before choosing a switcher or a matrix? First, how many inputs and outputs do you need to connect? Switchers and matrices are often named by the number of outputs and inputs they support. For example, this is called a 3x3 matrix, since it contains three inputs and three outputs, three media sources and three displays. You can get matrices in a variety of fixed sizes for any need. For sizes greater than 16 by 16 and up to 64 by 64 or more, a modular matrix solution enables you to populate the exact inputs and outputs to meet your specific requirements. Second, what type of AV formats do your screens and sources support and therefore your switcher should support? HDMI, HD Base T, or DisplayPort? What maximum video resolution does your AV equipment support? And third, what are you going to use it for? For security operation centers or control rooms, for example, you'll need a switcher that can display many inputs at the same time. But for presentations, you'll need a fast switching switcher or even a fast switching matrix if you have more than one display in the room. Some switchers and matrices feature a transition effect when changing inputs. Common switchers and matrices include HDMI and HD Base T switchers, modular matrices, auto switchers, presentation switchers and matrices, all-in-one presentation systems, and more. Before we finish, let's summarize what we've learned. When designing a solution with switchers or matrices, you should consider the following. The amount and type of inputs and outputs. The supported formats and bandwidth. Click the links in the description below to check out our full range of switchers and matrices. Also, be sure to click the subscribe button so you can be notified each time we upload a new video. We recommend checking out our other videos to enhance your professional AV knowledge. Thanks for watching this video by Kramer Academy.